Welcome to SelfDiscoveryMedia.com, where we discover the communities that are making a difference in the lives of others. Our self-discovery is something we are all making on our life's journey. Here you will find the people that will be your guidance, that will be your inspiration, that will be there for you in support on your journey of life. Do enjoy. Our next show is... Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Sarah's View of Life. I'm your host, Sarah Troy, right here on selfdiscoverymedia.com. Are you a writer? Are you a blogger? Article writer? Maybe you just feel there's a few words that need to come out of you now and again. Profound statement, just a paragraph. But something that you want to express. Well, I've recently joined uh, a wonderful network that is a writing um, blog, and it is a place where you can actually join up and you can write for people, and or write for yourself. But it's a place where they can actually share that platform, and it's you know you pay a minimum of, of sixty dollars a year U.S. dollars, and you can write up to four articles um, a month, and. It's a wonderful way of actually just sharing, you know, sharing the, the wonderful expression of self or how you feel, you know, it's, it's a wonderful way of just letting the magic happen. You know, humanity's living out loud and that's exactly what the magazine is called. You know, they, the magic happens and ah, the magic happens now.com is the platform but of course you can always write for me here too so you know I love people who write for me as well but there are so many people including myself that I first got a computer when I was 46 and I discovered I had a written voice I always had a storytelling but you know it was I could write the reason why I hadn't done it before then because I have atrocious writing I can't spell my grammar's all over the place and I'm dyslectic, so things would just end up being a mess and I'd get frustrated with it. But the computer came along and you can cut and paste and you could delete and you could redo and I found a voice. I found a voice inside of me that I didn't know was there. And that voice just had me like I do now with these shows, just stepping into something and just let it all flow. Sometimes it was an idea or point of view, sometimes just let the fingers get onto the keyboard and see what comes up. And I'm an article writer. I'm not a book writer, although I do need to do my book, but I am an article writer. So I wrote for my brother, uh, hackwriters.com. And I wrote for him for, for several years. And then, of course, I started my own site, choosepositiveliving.com, which is um, in limbo at the present moment. And I started um, just blogging away, point of view, you know, um, perspectives of life and uh, challenges and, or, or just inspirations, feelings, everything there. And of course, now uh, we'll post those also on selfdiscoverymedia.com. But there's an, an expression of self when you just allow a story to come out of you, whether it be a verbal one or a written one, whether it be something that you just want to put on Facebook or Twitter or, or LinkedIn, remember the, there are boundaries. It's got to be something inspirational or profound or fun, but never bashing. Okay, we're not looking for that. But inside of all of us, there is a story to be told. There is something that is positive. There is something that, that you want to share with people. There's something you've gone through that you would love other people to know about. Um, there's something you've learned about your journey that you want to share with others. And this is the time to do it. And I invite people to come and write for me. And, but this particular other platform is one that reaches um, millions. You know, 100,000 people read the articles and then they even get shared out from there. So it's definitely worth the investment if you want to take writing seriously. If you want to just do an article now and again with me, that's perfectly right. You can even do both, except to both of us. But express yourself, share yourself. Do you have some tidbits? I come across things like, oh, ginger's good for you, lemon's good for you, and it lists the things, and I'm going to share that. You know, somebody shares a, a health benefit, I'm going to share that. Um, when there's a good story, a good blog, or a good piece of information, 
I will share it. So are you a blogger, a writer? Do you have something to say? Um, you may not be ready for podcasting yet, but you know, you want to, to write something and you want to get it out there now and again or regularly, then come and join us. Come and be a blogger and uh, share your story. It goes out to everybody that has signed up here and it goes out on all my social medias as well. So why not? We learn best from those that have taken the journey of life. We learn best from those who embrace life. We learn best from those that have gone through the trials and the tribulations, from those that have been knocked down but got back up again, from those that have been open to receiving, from those that have allowed life to happen to them and the experience of life and gone with that flow, taken that journey, not dictated or demanded or, um, or gone by numbers. People who truly have lived by exploration. Uh, I love those stories, don't you? Don't you feel excited when you read something that somebody has gone through and you go, oh, I relate to that. Oh, gosh, you did that. How did you do that? And this is what happened. And this is who you've become because of it. Fantastic. What's missing inside of me? Can I do this? How am I selling myself short? Maybe I can do this too. Maybe you can write too. Um, when you send a blog to me, I'm going to read over it. I'm not an editor. I am definitely going to check to see, make sure that it's all right. Uh, I definitely do look for a positive content. You can address a problem, but there must always be a solution to it. We're not here bashing doomsday, you know, um, COVID this or politics that or, you know, bashing this, not interested in it. We can speak to the problem, but if you haven't got a solution, they're not right for us, neither one of us. But I know that when I just let my fingers do the typing and just let things express, that's the best that comes out of me. I review it afterwards, edit it, change it up a bit, but it's the organicness that has come out. Nobody is looking for perfection. That you go and write for Fortune 500, right? That is for that. But for everyday people who just want to connect, just want to read something that's inspirational, learn something that they can apply to their lives, then blogging is absolutely brilliant. I've many, met many uh, a first-time blogger, and I've interviewed them, and maybe even gone on to do their own shows or write books. You know, you, you don't know where you're going to start. I didn't know at the age of 46 when I first got my computer that I was going to be an article writer, or that one day it would lead to podcasting, or that I'll be doing anything I'm doing right now. It's the willingness to explore and go, you know, I haven't done that, but let's give it a try. Feels right. Let's give it a try. And while you're learning to dance, you're tripping over everything, you're falling on your backside, and it's like, oh, okay, all right, I guess I don't do it that way, and learning how to do it right, right? That's what it's about. So this isn't an intimidation of everything's got to be perfect. It's about the heart, the soul, the spirit, the enthusiasm, the laughter, the, the knowledge of it. And is that what we, that's what we will crave for, something that we can relate to. Something that says, yeah, yeah, I, I agree or I don't agree or God, that's me or I don't want it to be me. Um, it's something that sparks conversation. That's what it's about, please, conversation and learning and um, just broadening our thinking and our feeling and, and exploring because that's what it's, storytelling is always about. I've done a few shows on storytelling because, of course, that is my work here. I share people's stories, the stories of wonderment, the stories of their lives that's led them to doing what they're doing today. And so, the, you know, the blogs is obviously a natural thing. And I have some people that do write for me. And it's all about sharing it out, you know. But here is this other platform, which, you know, yes, you have to pay for because don't forget, all of this folks actually costs money to run. Um, but they have wonderful, wonderful readership. And on there too are some wonderful articles that you will get a kick out of. So whether it's for me, whether it's for both of us, give your hand 
to some writing, to sharing a story. Maybe you want to share an event that happened in your life or your perspective of the COVID virus right now. How has it affected your life? You know, what do you wish to see come out of this? Uh, what innovation or, or what inspiration has come to you that you wish to share with others? Because that is what it's about, what to share with others. So, um, I've got a couple of blogs up there. There's only one that went up for May. As I've just joined, I will have four of them for June. Uh, you can do up to four blogs a month. And for five bucks a month, folks, that's, you know, your cup of coffee, isn't it? So give it a try. And if you want to get your feet wet and start off with me, then fine. Just send to selfdiscoverymedia at gmail.com, selfdiscoverymedia at gmail.com. Label it um, the email, a blog for your site, and send it to me by Word, please. Um, Word document, okay? And if you have a graphic to go with it, great. If you don't, I can create a graphic to go with it. And also a way to contact you, whether it be email or, or Facebook or whatever, anything else. So do send me. Send me a story. Inspire me. Let's inspire others. Express yourself. Share yourself. We shouldn't be so scared to share ourselves, really. You know, it's people can take you or leave you. You're either the cup of tea or not. You know, that's no big deal. Don't take it personally. Just share yourself. You have somebody out there waiting to be inspired, waiting to be ignited, waiting to have that good laugh. Right, so it's not going to be read by every single person in the world, and it's not about the numbers game, it's just about if one person, one person has a, a positive effect from what you've written, hallelujah, that's one more than you had before, right? So, I'm going to continue blogging and I'm going to continue putting stuff out there because that's the way I express myself either this way on self discovery uh, media and. Sarah's view of life every week or through blogs and it's whatever comes to me at the time and so who knows what's going to come to me I won't know until my fingers hit the keyboard and we'll see what it is I've got a few things in the back of my mind that keep churning over and when they come to the forefront that's when they will start writing so it's not something you force yourself to do it's something that you allow to happen. You allow something to come through you and just organically pour from you. And if you want to take you know, notes first, write it out in longhand and then do it afterwards, that's fine, whatever your process is. But don't overthink it. We want the feeling of it, not the thought of it. Okay? Let it come from your heart, your spirit, your soul. Your mind will know what it needs to know when it needs to know it. Okay? We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for connection. Okay? So, selfdiscoverymedia at gmail.com. Drop me a line. Don't forget to say blog. And let's have some of your material. Okay? And, you know, just go to uh, your stories um, up here on selfdiscoverymedia.com and you'll see all the various blogs that other people have written and I've written. There's the whole series of stuff there. Take a dabble. You know, not every one of them is a show. Sometimes they're just a blog. So you may just want to read and not listen. That's fine. Whichever way turns your crank, right? <laughs> I hope everybody is feeling more enthusiastic about the future. Uh, we're slowly coming out of quarantine here now. A slow integration. And please, people, 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 people have patience. A slow integration. The second round is going to be more vicious than the first one. The virus is mutating and it's coming out stronger. So still that, that um, distancing, the washing of the hands, the being mindful, using common sense is still very, 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 very relevant. And we can get through this and slowly start getting back to, to work, to everything else, to living, as long as we are remaining considerate, um, practical, and respectful, and understand patience because we are not going to go back into life as it was and even now we have to tippy toe because we do not want to put ourselves in the same position of when this first out broke there are certain places that are ignoring that and you're going to see a very nasty hand being dealt to them by this virus and i feel sorry for them they just chose not 
to respect it. This virus is serious and we have to be very serious in how we treat it. We don't want to invite it. We do not want to have anything to do with it. So that means we need to keep our distance from it. All right. I wish all of you well and all of you safe. All of you looking at this time as a gift of reflection or connection with family, other ways to reach out to people, maybe some epiphanies or maybe just some downtime. Whatever it has been for you, look upon it as a gratitude because there's always something good to come out of something bad. So until next week, folks, have a great week. Bye for now. We hope you enjoyed the show. We look forward to bringing you more shows. Please go to selfdiscoverymedia.com slash shows and you will see the incredible lineup of genres and shows that we have for you. We are here to make a difference in your life. Thank you for listening.